There are rituals associated with winning a professional sports championship. Ceremonial rites of passage that only a champion will experience. The coronation process is similar across all the major leagues. And the Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Golden State champions of the NBA once again. Atlanta United. What a United States of America are crowned champions of the world. Yeah. The Golden State is the back-to-back championships. The final honor is a tradition deeply rooted in the fabric of American sports history. The champions visit the White House. Welcome to the White House. Since the 1860s, presidents have hosted baseball teams at the White House. And the tradition of championship sports teams visiting continues to this day. Peyton Manning said, I'm going to be here during your presidency. Sure enough, he delivered. Sure, hopefully, you can put this on and run with it. <laughs> Congratulations to the Indiana Fever. To make you our official member. <laughs> Thank you very much. I <laughs> brought the Stanley Cup home. Congratulations. Would you like to present you with this championship ball? And say thank you, doing a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. NASCAR Cup Series champion, Joey Logano. Give it up for the world champion, U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. Well, we're in the White House right now. This is like Mama made it. <laughs> Well, the tradition of visiting the White House is something that made a real mark on me. And it's just a special treat for a championship team. This is stuff that you see on postcards. You might, if you know, if you had a chance to go to DC, you ride by it. You never really think that one day I may be in the White House. Growing up where we grew up, I think the majority of people would never see themselves have an opportunity to go to the White House just like I did. When I was younger, it seems far-fetched. Like, how could a West Virginia girl get to the White House? To me, that was a goal, to be able to do something that our family would have never been able to do before. It was awesome, like, to get to walk through. You see the different statues. You see the different rooms we got to sit in. But we were too afraid to even touch anything. I just remember, man, don't break none of these people's stuff. I don't care what you make. You can't pay for none of this. I think it's a great tradition. It's special. Going to the White House and having that opportunity that was way bigger than me. It's crazy that basketball led me to it. After winning the 2017 NBA championship, Golden State Warriors star Stephen Curry was outspoken about not wanting to visit the White House. On September 23, 2017, President Donald Trump rescinded the Warriors White House invitation. Given President Trump's rhetoric, um, you know, calling NFL players sons of making some of the comments that he's made about, uh, about certain athletes. Um, most athletes that, that I know over the last four years did not want to go. I know our team did not want to go after winning the 17 championship. And President Trump basically disinvited us before we could even turn down the invitation. Every team has an opportunity to make a decision for themselves and, and speak for themselves. and. And uh, I think that's powerful. When somebody says they don't want to come to the White House, he disinvites them. So whoever wins the series won't be going. It's good that guys are sticking to what they believe in and what they want to do. I've had the pleasure to meet with Reagan, George Bush, Clinton, George W. Bush, Obama. I didn't necessarily agree with all of them, but it was an incredible honor to be in their presence. In normal times, very easily be able to set aside political differences and go visit and have a great time. And that'd be awesome. But these are not ordinary times, probably the most divisive times in my life. Players across the sports world were candid about their stance on visiting the White House. I'm not going to the White House. I stand by the comments that I made about not wanting to go to the White House. No, absolutely not. I refuse to respect a man that warrants no respect. Staying silent, um, you know, at times can side with the oppressor. I would encourage my teammates to think hard about lending that platform or having that co-opted by an administration that doesn't feel the same way and doesn't fight for the same things that we fight for. I'm going to respectfully decline the, the offer. It's just a personal personal thing. I, be I believe in what I believe in, and we stick by every every single teammate in their decision. I personally do not uh, anticipate intending that. I'm not going to go. People know how I feel about it. My son grows up, and I believe the legacy of our president is going to be what it is. I don't want him to say, hey, Dad, why'd you go when you knew the right thing was to not go? Winning a, a Super Bowl or winning a Stanley Cup or winning a World Series or winning an NBA championship or a national championship is way bigger than getting invited to the White House, especially with him in there, in my opinion. 
This isn't an anomaly for athletes to pass on the visit. Over the years, individual players have opted out on team trips to the White House for a variety of reasons. Some personal, some political. President Trump hosting a few celebrations, although there's one glaring difference for this administration. No WNBA sports teams. Just for me personally, my feelings weren't hurt if we didn't get an invitation because I just never had made plans on it that year. After we won in 17, I think we already had our minds made up. Whether they sent the invite or not, we knew it was probably a no-go with what was happening in the world and the leadership that we had at the time that just didn't align with what we were about. In order to get back to that place where teams and athletes are visiting the White House, there just has to be an inherent respect between the president and the athletes themselves. That respect has always existed, but it disappeared over the last four years. With a new administration, so help me God, comes reports that the NBA champion Los Angeles Lakers are now looking forward to reconvening the traditional White House visit. Look, if I win a championship with the future, I want to meet Kamala Harris. Like that's it. That's, I'm just throwing that out there now. I know the president meets the teams, but I think that would be pretty awesome too. If you know, if it was women's sports teams and Kamala Harris made an appearance, I know that it's going to be an exciting time. For me, it ain't never been about political beliefs because I don't think that the world or everybody is going to 100% agree on political beliefs. But I think we all got to agree on having a good a, a good person. Talk about somebody that actually hears and understands the cries of the people in the, the community. It'll be a lot more unity than division. And I think that's what you see when it comes to the opportunity to go to the White House. For me, man, it was amazing to go to the White House and see the first black president. But if he wasn't a decent person, it don't matter to me. And then the next step, understanding that every white person ain't bad, bro. Right? Every police officer ain't bad. So we got to figure out a way to bridge that gap. I hope that uh, we can get to a point where a real change comes. I think this new administration is going to bring a uh, breath of fresh air to the country. It shouldn't be a thought what side you're on or whether it's going to be a debate or if you go, you don't go, what that means. Like, it's supposed to be a place for all people to come and celebrate being American and experiencing that as champions. That's what you work for every year, making sure that this is a place that we, the American people, can call our own.